Our tale begins thousands of years ago with the earliest known inhabitants of what is now Uganda. These were Central Sudanic and Kuliak speaking farmers and herders whose simple agrarian lifestyle laid the foundational cultural bedrock of the region. The arrival of Bantu and Nilotic speakers added more threads to the cultural tapestry, enriching it with their unique traditions, languages and social structures. Fast forward a few centuries to the reign of the Empire of Kitara, which held sway over a significant part of the Great Lakes area. This period, steeped in legend and lore, is often hailed as a golden age in Ugandan history, a time when the region flourished under the rule of powerful kings and queens. The narrative takes a dramatic turn in the 1800s with the arrival of Arab traders, who brought with them a new religion, Islam, and a new system of commerce. The landscape of Uganda was about to change drastically yet again, when a few decades later British explorers set foot on its fertile soil. The British, favouring the Kingdom of Buganda over Bunyoro, annexed Uganda and established the Uganda Protectorate in 1894. This marked the beginning of a colonial era that would last for nearly 70 years, profoundly impacting the socio-political fabric of the country. The year 1962 heralded a new chapter in Ugandan history, as the nation gained independence from the United Kingdom. A year later, Uganda became a republic, with the first post-independence government formed by the Uganda People's Congress and Kabaka Yeka. However, the road to stability was fraught with challenges, including violent conflicts and military dictatorships, the most notorious being that of Idi Amin. Despite these turbulent times, the spirit of the Ugandan people remained unbroken, their resilience a testament to their enduring hope for a brighter future. Fast forward to the present day, Uganda has been under the leadership of President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni since 1986. The country has made significant strides in various sectors, yet continues to grapple with issues such as poverty and corruption. In summary, the journey of Uganda, from its early inhabitants to the present day, is a tale of cultural evolution, colonial influence, struggles for independence and ongoing efforts towards progress. This narrative serves as a testament to the resilience of the Ugandan people, their rich cultural heritage, and their unwavering hope for a brighter future. The Pearl of Africa continues to shine, its story far from over.